AS pure mathematics, so looking at integration in the form AX to the N or X to the N. Yeah, for year 12 students here yeah, doing Edexcel, OCRA, OCRB, MEI, and also, yeah, um, AQA. Okay, in roughly, okay, 300 seconds. Okay, let's go. Okay, so question number one, okay, rest the injury here. From limits of zero to two of x squared plus one the x key so remember yeah for, in for integrations guys here we add one to the power okay and we divide by the new power so x squared becomes x cubed over three and then one integrates here to just plus one x to the one okay over one and then the limits are between two and zero okay I can now substitute in obviously my limits, okay? So it's the top limit minus the bottom limit. So it'd be two cubed over three, so that'd be eight thirds. Okay, plus one times two, okay, so plus two. Okay, so that is the first limit obviously done. Okay, subtract the second limit here. So sorry, yeah, if it's not a lot of space, I apologize in advance. Obviously when it's zero, that would be a, that'll be zero, that also be zero. So it's subtract zero. So two holes is 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 equal to six thirds, so that'd be eight thirds plus six thirds, which is fourteen thirds. Okay, so yeah, so the answer to this here is equal to fourteen thirds. Okay. Or I can write here as a mixed number okay, I going to be fine. But this is we Evaluate here is 0, 2 of this way here plus 1 is 14 thirds. Okay, so that represents the area, okay, of the quadratic between 0 and 2. Okay, a rough sketch, if you so a rough sketch, so it looks something like this. Sorry, sorry start again. Okay, so start again. Like that. So from 0 to 2, okay. So from x equals zero, yeah, so from there to there. So that's how much here yeah, the area obviously represents. Okay, so this is what I call yeah, a definite integral. Okay, so when there's limits, it's called a definite integral. If there are no limits, then it's called an indefinite integral. Okay, question number two the integral between one and two of x cubed plus x dx. So again, add one to the power, and we divide by the new power. So we get x to the power of four over four, or x quarters to the power of four. Okay, and then x goes to x squared over 2. This is now between the limits of 1 and 2, or, yeah, 2 and 1. Okay, remember, it is always the top limit minus the bottom limit. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter here which we obviously the numbers are. Okay, so this time, yeah, we see a bit more careful actually. Yeah, so we'll have 2 to the 4, which is 16, divided by 4, so that'll be 4 there, plus 2 squared, so that'll be 4. 4 over 2 would be 2. Okay, so that'll be six for that first part, and then the second part, guys. Okay, is when x is one, we'll have a quarter plus a half, so that'll be three quarters. So we have six, subtract three quarters. Well, six is equal to 24 quarters, 24 quarters subtract three quarters. Is it is equal to 21 quarters? And that, guys, is my final answer. Okay, so it's 21 quarters. Okay. What about this next one? Okay, slightly more trickier. I should delete this here until we've got a bit more space. Okay. So we've got the integral of 9 minus x squared dx from minus 3 to minus 1. Again, so we're going to add 1 to the power. So now you'll go to 9x. Okay, then we've got minus x cubed, I'll subtract x cubed over 3. So remember, yeah, we add 1 to the power and we divide by the new power, okay? That's how we do integration, okay? In the form x to the n, okay? From minus 1 to minus 3. So be careful, okay? So plug in here, yeah, minus 1 into here. We're going to have minus 9. Then we've got minus minus one cubed over three. Well, if x is minus one, then minus x cubed, so, so that, that'll actually be positive, okay? 
Okay, so think so yeah, so think of it as x equals minus one. So minus x will obviously be positive one. Okay. So be positive one, yeah, cubed over three, so that means minus minus nine plus one third. And then subtract. Nine times minus three, so that'd be minus twenty seven. Okay, and I've got minus minus three cubed over three, so that'd be plus three cubed over three, so that'd be plus nine. So plus nine. Okay, if we plug this into our calculator, guys, what are we going to get? Let's look it out. So we got minus nine plus one third. Okay. Then we're gonna have minus minus sixteen. So plus sixteen. So that'll be twenty two thirds. Okay. And that guys is my final answer. Okay. And this is integration between limits so we add one to the power and we divide by the new power we then substitute in here in the top limit minus the substitution of the bottom limit okay and then obviously evaluate it obviously yeah, either obviously by hand here or using a calculator but yeah that's how we do definite integrals for as pure maths okay thanks for watching okay sorry about me actually starting here at the end okay sorry but yes sorry about any last like, stutter yeah any stutter sorry Okay, but thanks for watching.